Hi, my name is Jason, I am Rebuild. Today I'm going to show you how to correctly uh, upgrade the set of gears for your M3, 5 or 6. But I also specialise in doing electronics, so if you do find that you've put a set of gears in there and it hasn't worked, um, my speciality is upgrading the boards. Um, if I can't fix it, I give you new ones. Okay, once you've removed the circuit board, to remove the half gear, slide out the full gear and just drill at a 45 degree angle using a 3mm drill bit either side of the, uh, the half gear, weakening it. So I drill in at 45 degrees and then I twist the drill up, but what I don't do is touch the spleens or touch the shaft in any way. So I go in deep enough and lift it up. And effectively, what I've done is I've just weakened this enough so it can be broken, it can be broken out. <clears throat> and there we go. Okay, now you've removed the worn out half gear from the BMW shaft, we just need to remove this lip and the lip around the top. But it's very important that we don't touch the, the spleens, um, they need to remain how they are. So. Okay, so I haven't taken the lip off fully. I will finish this by hand with a file. Um, I don't want to machine too much off because um, I don't really want to touch this face. I'm only removing the lip. Um, you'll also see that I've just grinded the top of the, of the shaft so I can slide on the, uh, the new uh, replacement gear. Okay, so I'm just going to finish removing the remainder of the lip uh, by hand. So by carefully filing the lip so it's flush with the face. Once that's done, you can now fit the shaft onto the half gear. And I'm gonna do this by hammering it onto the half gear. There we go, that's really tight on there at the moment. But don't forget, we're gonna to need to put a pin in there still. Okay, now we're gonna drill the part. Okay, so now we're going to fit the drilled um, half gear into a throttle actuator. Um, and we're going to glue and we're going to pin, pin this as well. So what we need to do is we need to now remove the actual shaft that we have drilled. Uh, the best way of doing this is to tap it out. You can tap it like this or you're welcome to use a hammer. There we go. Now that's removed. Have you noticed I haven't taken the tab off, I haven't undone any nuts. I'm simply just popping this back inside the throttle actuator. I'm putting the washer back on and now I'm going to put a little bit of glue around those spleens. So I'm going to take a drill bit and apply a little tiny bit of glue and I'm just going to rub it around those spleens and I'm going to twist the shaft and keep rotating it while applying a small amount of glue. This glue you should receive in your kit that you've bought from me. Um, again, if you have electrical issues, get them over to me and I will completely upgrade the electronics for higher power, higher temperature, better quality, um, giving your unit a lifetime warranty. Also, I'm going to put some glue around the inside of the half gear. I'm not taking any chances. <clears throat> when fitting the half gear, you line it up with the spring, the hook on the spring, so it slots into the half gear. You then rotate while holding the tab at the bottom. You rotate the half gear one full turn and you push it as hard as you can on to the, to the shaft. Now, I've only got it a quarter of the way on the sh onto the shaft, the reason being is it is quite tight. So I'm going to finish just hammering the half gear onto the shaft. So now that's fitted. All that remains is to put the pin in there. <coughs> put the pin in. Um, you simply 
grab the pin with a pair of long nose pliers. You can apply a bit of glue to the pin, to the pin if you wanted to, um, it doesn't matter. I'm going to slide the pin in and you will need to hammer the pin into the shaft. This ensures it's been glued and it's been pinned. There we go, that's gone all the way in. Um, I see a lot of people who do, who do this and they don't hammer the pin all the way in. Um, now, last of all, um, it's all on there. Just check that you've got some play. That play is quite important. You want about half a mil. Um, if it's tight, what will happen is the engine gets hot and it just literally seizes up because metal expands um, and if the half gear um, has no play, um, it will just seize up while you're driving. Okay, if you find that there's no play um, after you've fitted the half gear, you can simply um, fix this by tapping the back of the nut and you can get um, the play by doing that. Um, minimum half a mil, um, maximum two, but anywhere between half and one mil is what you're looking for. Um, once that's done, you literally just need to put in your full gear and put your uh, board back on. Um, as I said, if you do get problems with the electronics, that's what I specialise in. Thanks for watching.